guys, my name is Hayley Quinn and I'm here to give you a special Valentine's video for OnlineDating.org on what to do if you're single on Valentine's Day. Now if you're single on Valentine's Day, there's a couple of different routes here. Maybe you'd feel comfortable just to ignore the occasion and your person that doesn't really rate Valentine's Day and you just want to get on with your own life. If that's you, that's great. However, if you're a person that really loves Valentine's Day and is perhaps a little bit sad that you haven't got a special Valentine in your life, um, I want you to take control of the scenario. What I want you to do is really enjoy the day, despite the fact that you haven't perhaps got some a special person in your life. So, a great idea that you could do is maybe take time out for yourself, spend time with your friends and your loved ones, and don't feel the pressure to necessarily have a boyfriend or a girlfriend in your life in order to enjoy the day. Instead, plan something amazing with your friends. If you're a girl, maybe you want to write your girlfriend's cards and get them little heart-shaped chocolates and indulge the, the Valentine's Day pastimes and still enjoy the day and appreciate that you do not need a man in your life to go about having fun. Because I think as a woman, what you especially don't want to come across as is kind of desperate and really looking to, you know, find a man and needing a man because that's so unattractive. So for instance, if on Valentine's Day you decide to go out and drink a bit too much wine and go out on the pool, I would say that A, you're very unlikely to meet someone for a genuine relationship because guys will assume that if you're willing to hook up with someone on Valentine's Day, that will maybe come across as a bit needy. Um, but also it gives off the wrong impression about you entirely. So instead, I would still go out, but I would go out with a group of your friends, whether you're a man or a woman. If Valentine's Day is important to you and you don't have a special Valentine, get a group of friends together, go out, hit some bars, have fun, have dinner together, enjoy each other's company and appreciate one another. And when you're out having fun and enjoying yourself with a group of friends, that's actually when you're probably going to meet your most attractive. So if you happen to get talking to another group of people that maybe has some single guys or some single girls in it, there's going to be a fantastic opportunity there for you to not go home with them, but to swap numbers and see where that leads. And wouldn't that make for a romantic story in the future if you met your future boyfriend or girlfriend on Valentine's Day in one particular year? Anyway, guys, this is a few tips on how to deal with Valentine's Day if you're single for onlinedating.org.